All right, so I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on side-by-side -side color correction uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. I meant to talk about this last night at the Final Cut user group, but uh, I completely forgot about it. So I'm just going to do it here and I'll, I'll post it to the page, the Facebook page. Um, so side-by-side -side color correction is something that's desperately needed uh, in Final Cut 10, and it's not it's not a native feature. Hopefully in the future it will be, but this is kind of a cheat to get you there. So what I've got here on the timeline is just two quick interview clips, uh, one next to the other, and we're going to color correct these to be similar, as close to similar as we can get. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll come down here to this first clip and let's uh, command six to apply a color correction on it. Uh, command seven will bring up your scopes if they're not up. And then we'll go in and do a real quick color grade on this. Let's drop the blacks a little bit, push the whites some, mids a little to get some detail in the face. Go over here to the saturation. We'll kick his saturation up a little bit. All right, so that's pretty, pretty, pretty good color uh, for, for something really quick, right? So here's his color correction. Now, the question is, how can we get him side by side with this guy so that we can see them both at the same time while color correcting? Well, there's this little thing that came into Final Cut, I don't know, four or five uh, versions back called the event viewer. So if we show the event viewer, now we can see whatever is in our event. So if I click on this, it's going to show that image. If I click on that, it's going to show basically whatever I'm selected in my event is going to show up in this viewer. So here's that first clip. The problem is this is the original clip. It doesn't show the color correction that we applied down in the timeline. So how we got to get this up into the event and how do we do that? We do it with a compound clip. So we're just going to right click. We're going to say new compound clip. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it named side by side color clip. We'll say OK. And then one trick that I use to easily find compound clips is a smart collection. I've actually set one up here uh, called compound clips. Actually, I'll show you how to set it up. Let me delete that. We'll just go to the smart collections. We're going to say new library smart collection. That was a right click that did that. And I'm going to say compound clips. And then if I double click this, we'll say that we want to, we're going to add a, um, a filter here and call it type and change that type to compound clip. So now all of your compound clips will show up. So now that we have that compound clip up in our event viewer, it can now be loaded into, or in our event, it can be loaded into the event viewer. So now we have side by side color correction. Yeah, it's a cheat, but but yeah, it's side by side color correction. So now let's go ahead and do a quick color grade on this clip. We'll bring the exposure down a little bit. Uh, I don't want to pump the whites too much, but I'm going to bring the mids up. This is a pretty bright image. This one isn't so bright. So let's bring the mids up, pull the blacks a little bit more. Uh, definitely need to add some saturation into it to kind of try and match these skin tones. Uh, on the color side, I think it needs to be warmed up just a touch. Kind of looking at skin tones, trying to match them. It definitely has more green in it. So let me pull some of the green out of the master. And there you go. I mean, it's not perfect. You just need to spend a little bit more time to, to, to get it perfect. But that, there you go, is side by side color correction in Final Cut 10. Um, once you're done with the with your uh, color correction, you can go back over here. And uh, then all we're going to do is break apart clip items to get this back to a non-compound clip. Uh, and that, where does that live? Yes, up here in clips, break apart clip items. So that is no longer a compound clip. It's just a regular old clip. And you can even go up if you want to into your compound clip uh, smart collection and just delete that. You don't need it anymore. Or you can save them. Either way, doesn't matter. So that's it. That is side-by-side -side color correction, sort of. It's kind of a cheat, but it it, it works. Side-by-side um, -side color correction in Final Cut 10. That's it. Bye.